The new artifact set, the Ocean Hill Clan, has been released in Genshin Impact. It's been a week and we have done some very, very intensive testing and here are the results. And while I'll tell you right now that everyone have their eyes on like Kokomi or Barber, the real winner from this artifact set is actually going to be GG. And let me explain. The way this artifact set works is that when you do any healing in your party, the amount that you heal will be recorded and then about 3 seconds later, the bubble will pop doing damage according to the amount that you have healed. This damage is considered to be physical, however it does not scale with any of your stat and it ignore enemy defense. However, it does get affected by physical resistance, meaning that you will do less damage onto a rune guard. Or the other way around, meaning that physical resistance shred will be able to increase the bubble pop damage. The most important factor is that when you do some kind of party-wide healing, meaning that any skill that heals your entire party, it will count all of those healing in. So basically, when you heal your entire party, you're basically getting 4 times the amount of efficiency here. With that being said, the character that have healing builds into their kit, starting from the bottom, is gonna be Barbara, Jean, Chi, Diona, Sayu, Kokomi. Now, while some other characters can also heal, such as Noel or Sing Shoes, it's cool without saying that this artifact is not very good on those characters, as usually they are not meant for healing purposes, but for some other purposes, for example, doing damage. Now, something to quickly call out is that you actually need a lot of massive healing in order to make this artifact set worth it. Which means for a character that doesn't have consistent massive healing, for example like Diona, where you have to stand on her AoE field and it only healed one character at a time, this artifact set is actually not that good. Because of that, running something like the Foresight Noblesse or even Foresight Tenacity on your Diona in order to buff out a party member is just going to be significantly better than trying to do some damage on your Diona. Once again, the thing that we're looking for when we're trying to run the new artifact set is going to be consistent massive healing. And Diona doesn't have that since you have to stand in the circle, the Diona Elemental Burst have a really low uptime, as well as it just doesn't really heal that much because it only healed one party member at a time. Moving on to the two Animo healer, which is Sayu and Jin, it shouldn't be too surprising that the 4 set VV is just significantly better, since 4 set VV is one of the most broken artifact set in Genshin Impact. It will increase your overall team damage by a significant amount, and so the Ocean Heal Clamp is also not worth it on these characters. Now, there's a special case here, and that is if you're going to be playing your shout with your Jean. Since you cannot swirl a Nemo, doing 4vv on Jean doesn't really work here. So what you should be doing is simply be using the 4 set Noblesse to boost your shout instead. Doing this will overall result in much more team damage than if you're trying to use the Ocean Heal Clam set on Jean. So once again, there's no reason to use this artifact set on Jean. But if you're for some reason running a defense scaling Geo character with your Jean, in this case, it doesn't make sense to run 4 Noblesse either since they are defense scaling and the attack percent boost doesn't work here. In that case, running 2 Glider 2 VV is still better than running the 4 set Ocean Heal Clam set as your elemental skill and elemental burst do do a significant amount of damage when you're playing Jean. And if you're playing main DPS physical Jean, keep your 2 Pale Flame 2 Blessing. Do not move to the new artifact set. So overall, there's very very little reason, in fact there's no reason to use the new artifact set on Jean. With that being said, we move on to the actual healer of Genshin Impact, which is Barbara, Chichi, and Kokomi. Remember, what we're looking for is consistent massive healing. And for Barbara, while she has a massive healing on her elemental burst that can easily allow you to max out the damage on the new artifact set, unfortunately, since Barbara does not generate any energy and her elemental burst have a high cooldown and very, very low uptime, she doesn't really have consistent massive healing, for the most part at the very least. What you could do is actually do a Barbara charge attack swap weaving. So what that means is you will swap into Barbara and do a charge attack on Barbara every few seconds while her elemental skill is up. When you have Barbara elemental skill up, doing any attack will restore HP for your entire party and doing charge attack will restore 4 times the amount of healing. This means that when you do a charge attack on Barbara, you can actually get a massive amount of healing for your entire party. Therefore, stacking the Ocean Heal Clam set really really well and doing a really good amount of damage. But regardless, it's not like Barbara have any good artifact set before, so therefore the Ocean Heal Clam set is just straight up better than any other artifact set that you could have used on Barbara before, making this her new best in slot artifact set. Unfortunately, this does not open up any new team comp for Barbara. If you ran her before already, this is gonna be a good improvement. But if you didn't run her before, you're still not gonna run her. 
overall it makes barbara a little bit better than before it does not make her meta however unfortunately moving on to kokomi there's currently two main ways to pay kokomi the number one is simply use her as a all-field hydro applicator and all you do is cast her elemental skills to supply hydro and that's it for example in the previous chinese ayaka free team that we covered that's pretty much what you would do with kokomi or if you're doing something like the Morgana uh, with Ayaka and Ganyu together, then the only thing you do on Kokomi is to cast her elemental skill and leave the field. In these cases, running 4 Tignasli on your Kokomi to buff the rest of your party is still going to be a better outcome. The main reason why this is the case is because the Jellyfish itself doesn't heal enough to generate enough value for the Ocean Heal Clamp set. But this is not the same when you are going to cast Kokomi Elemental Burst and put her on the field. As Kokomi Elemental Burst is able to heal your entire party for massive amount consistently. This means you will be able to generate a tons of value off the Ocean Heal Clamp set. And therefore, any time that you are going to do that, aka putting Kokomi on the field and use her Elemental Burst, you should be using the new artifact set. So if you're going to put your Kokomi on field, you should be running this new artifact set. And it's a decent amount of damage bonus. And this includes the latest top meta Kokomi team, Sukokomon. We will be covering this team next week in a video. Unfortunately, just like her 4-star companion Barbara, this does not really open up any team option for her. If you're already using her before, great, she just got an amazing power up. However, if you weren't already using her before, you still wouldn't use her in that team as she have other problems that this new artifact set cannot solve. Finally, we move on to Chi Chi, who also have massive healing in the form of her elemental burst. Just like the other character, previously, Chi Chi didn't really have any good artifact set for her, so Basically, getting an actual artifact set now is just going to be a straight upgrade compared to before. However, the biggest change by far for Chi Chi is that you can actually put her into a very decent team now, which is Eula. Eula, Rosaria, Chi Chi, and then either Fischl or Raiden is actually going to be a very, very viable team now with the new artifact set on Chi Chi. What you're doing in this team is to spam Chi Chi Elemental Burst, which gives your team a good amount of healing. And using that healing, you will be able to do a really good amount of sub DPS damage on your Chi Chi. Remember that the bubble damage is physical, however, it's affected by physical resistance. That means in this party where you have Superconduct as well as the Euler physical resistance threat, and if you have C6 Rosaria, that's also some physical resistance threat. You can actually increase the bubble damage here substantially in this party. Most people might be concerned on how you can spam Elemental Burst on TG. But looking at this party, you'll see you have two other crowd party members that will generate crowd energy for your TG. Especially Rosaria is known to work really really well with Phonius Land to generate a tons of energy. So you're going to be running the Fab Lens on your Rosaria, but you're going to run it anyway for your Eula. And since you cannot crit on the bubble damage, what that means is that you can just run a tons of energy recharge in places where you would normally look for crit. So for example, I'm currently using a energy recharge sense as well as a Phonia Sword energy recharge weapon. This bumped me to a total of 225 energy recharge and allow me to spam my elemental burst off cooldown on TG. And if you're a owner of Raiden Shogun, putting her into this party is going to be super amazing as she can generate energy for your Chi Chi and Eula who are both desperately in need of some energy. And so if you have Eula and Raiden Shogun, feel free to try out this team, you'll probably have a lot of fun with it. The reason why Chi Chi is good in here is because she fills the healer slot which you need. And comparing to most other healer, Chi Chi is actually just better. So let's take a look. Obviously, some extremely powerful healer like Bennett is still going to be better, but usually you don't really run Bennett with your Eula. So your other choice is either Zhongli or Diona. And you notice that while Zhongli have 20% shred, because you have so much shred already, the 20% shred get devalued a lot. And Zhongli personal damage is very very poor, as the pillar itself doesn't really do that much damage. So putting Chi Chi here instead is actually going to be giving you much more damage than putting a Zhongli in. Likewise, Diona does not really do any damage, so Chi Chi is just going to be doing much more damage than Diona, especially since Diona cannot really use the new artifact set, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video. Of course, Diona is able to generate a lot of crowd energy, which Chi Chi cannot do, but when you don't really care about the crowd energy, Chi Chi is just a straight up winner. Overall, this team right here, Eula, Raiden, Rosaria, Chi Chi, is a very, very viable team. And congratulations to Chi Chi that she finally found a team where she is viable to play in. But to answer your final question, is this meta? 
Uh, unfortunately, the answer is still no, because putting Beto in is just gonna be better. So, it is not meta, but it is viable. While this artifact set unfortunately does not make any of the healer character more meta, as they still have core issues in their kits. For example, in Kokomi kit, you cannot move the jellyfish, which is one of her core issues. But it does make them a little bit better. For Barbara and Kokomi, it makes them go from okay characters to better characters. And for Chi-Chi, it makes her go from a garbage character that you would never put into any party to a viable character that you could put into your Eula party. And to me, that's pretty amazing. You know, finally making Chi-Chi usable. Previously, if you were to put Chi-Chi into any party that you own, you'd be straight up grieving. But now that you have a viable team, for players who have been looking to put Chi-Chi into one of their party because they really really want to play with Chi-Chi, you can finally do it. And once again, that is going to be the Eula, Chi-Chi, Rosaria, and then either Fischl or Raiden team. Anyway, with that being said, that's it for the video for today. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.